Hi, Paper Crafters. Kim Ferguson here for what we're going to call a Tip Thursday. So I'm in the middle of, you know, still kind of sorting through things, organizing, blah, blah, blah. I know I keep saying that, but I think it's just going to be a summer long project before I can really, truly devote my time to honestly getting back to my scrapbooking. But I'm not wasting my time. And today I'm going to show you a new technique or a rejuvenation, reconditioning of some stamps. So um, being at the Teen Center, we are going through and organizing there as well. So I feel like it's just a summer of cleaning out and organizing. Season changes everywhere around me. So anyway, with that, I brought home, let me count over here, three, six, I think 10 cases of rubber stamps that have been just kind of stored away and not really loved. And so I wanted to try to make some catalogs of what the stamps are in there. Some of them have already been done, but as I'm going through them, I notice that they're getting really dry. Nothing is brittle or breaking, but they're really dried out. So I have over time purchased products to kind of do exactly what I did yesterday. So I thought I'd kind of come on here and just recap what I did. I've already finished it and decided maybe I should do a video and just share my experience with you. So products I used are rubber cement, Aileen's Tack It Over and Over, and then some glycerin. And then I have a bowl and just a, you know, a craft paintbrush that really didn't care if anything happened to it because I wasn't sure exactly what I was doing. I just kind of Googled, you know, what do you do with to recondition or rejuvenate uh, rubber stamps? And these are the red rubber. And then I just have the stamp platform that I use. I believe this is a Fiskar. Yeah, right here, Fiskars. And then I just use some of my black exclusive inks. And I use black because I have more refills for my black. And um, I'm just basically cataloging, so it didn't need to be anything fancy. And then I have this big art paper pad that is a dollar at Dollar Tree. And so let me scoot this aside and bring one of the bins out with the stamps. Yeah. Okay, so here is what they were stored in. So it's just a huge plastic case that opens up. And this is how they came to the teen center. And whoever had these before kind of already started cataloging. So you can see here that um, there is cardstock and then they've laminated some of them so that when they were laminated after they stamped the images, this could just open up and you can see now that the stamps will stick to these laminated sheets that have the images of the stamps. So they're stamped again on this side for placement of where the stamps go. Now, how do you make stamps usable when you take them off of wood? So obviously these used to be mounted on wood blocks. I'm assuming these were not mine. These belong to the teen center. So you can put them in the microwave I've heard, for a few seconds to get that tackiness from the adhesive that's got it mounted to the wood or you can use a heat gun you know, like for our heat embossing um, so look that up I didn't have to do that step they were already in here but they were just looking you know dried up so what I did if I didn't have to catalog them I just went through and I first of all made sure stack right here there's a good example for me to show you how the rubbers are coming across coming apart so this is this the kind of like our squishy pad that comes with our stamp says for close to my heart this is that kind of absorption rubber that goes behind rubber stamp to kind of help get a better impression so all you have to do is take your rubber cement and you're going to put it on both pieces of rubber so i'm going to put on the backing the, the foam part and on the rubber itself and then it's like they just stick together instant again we're back to rubber cement and we're gluing together rubber pieces that's all you have to do now you can see on the back of this that it really isn't sticky anymore so Aileen's tack it over and over again or actually not over again it's tack it over and over is a repositionable adhesive so what I simply did on the ones that were not sticking anymore is I just went through with my Aileen's and I just merely made like glue dots. I just kind of went all over the back. 
So I didn't have to do a lot. So yeah, this looks really tedious, but there was really very few that I had to do this on. Okay, that's all I did. And then I just let it sit overnight and that helps these both the rubber cement to adhere and you need to wait for this to dry completely and then it becomes tacky like a glue dot or you know repositionable one you don't want it to be permanent okay so that is what you do with the rubber cement and the tack it over and over close this up okay so that was the first thing i did is i went through to do any repair all right let me just make sure that's sticking okay and then into the evening i just put on actually i'm watching downton abbey if anybody's ever seen that i put glycerin into this bowl and then i with my paintbrush i just went over the stamps and just really got in all the crevices you know took some time and just really covered them really really well and then i left this tray open all around my craft room because there's 10 of them and I just let it dry overnight and this morning I came in with actually I already put it into the laundry but I came in with what actually used to be my cloth diapers from when my kids were babies <laughs> so that's really old and um, I just went in and kind of wiped the excess because I, I was pretty you know um, generous and you can see in my bottle well, you really can't but it actually is still full up to here so I have barely used any of this to do 10 cases of rubber stamps so it went really far and then like I said this morning I just went through and I wiped up the excess but they look really really good so I welcome anyone to uh, leave comments below in an experience that they've had doing this same thing maybe if you've actually started from the point where you took them off of the wood mount what process did you use and then what kind of cataloging did you uh, start with them or do you catalog but I hope this was helpful in just kind of sharing you know an experience I just went through I'm really happy with how they look I think that we'll get a lot more use out of them and they'll last longer hopefully I've prolonged their life instead of you know, my original thought was how many of these am I going to have to throw away? But I, I didn't have to toss any. So anyway, you just need simple products, rubber cement, tack it over and over, glycerin, some thyme, some, you know, craft paintbrush, a bowl. And then, like I say, I use the paper from Dollar Tree to do my cataloging. And so I just cut it down. I just cut it down to size and stamp them with my black ink so I don't think I will laminate these because I don't have a laminator big enough I could maybe put it in once one way and then put it in another I'll have to think about that I know I have plenty of laminating machine uh, uh, sheets so I might do that because it is really handy that you can mount them on that oops yeah it's not staying it did better yesterday I think it's because I'm rushing and showing you other things and not seeing here paying attention to it so it does it does it here you just have to, you know, not be trying to do 20 things at one time. All right. Let me know in the discussion below if you have any questions. I'm really glad I did this. It just took me really a 24-hour period of time, if even that. But I was sitting down enjoying a program and uh, felt like I was being productive at the same time. Thanks for watching, you guys. And um, hopefully I'll be back with some other tips or project again soon. Take care. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.